Okay, so this is effectively a time mission. We're supposed to collect uh, data from desks and whatever. We have well, at six turns they start getting reinforcements, but we're supposed to collect six or sorry, ten data things are coming off of these desks here. We've got two. Yeah, we've got two out of ten we're supposed to collect. Look, we can see that guy. Tiger. I actually wanted to get uh there's a ring. I wanted to get my sniper up on the roof. Where'd he go? That's right. Aeolus. There's Taco. So Taco, we wanted to get up here. We actually get multiple people up here would be nice. Then they'll cover, though. But it's more fun to throw grenades from up there, right? Or do you want to keep them down here? Hmm. Come through the window so we can shoot you. I'm sure we just gunned down that guy with the heavy machine gun. It's Joe. These are the desks we have to get to. as far as we're going to get for that. Fanny, just stay here. Although you don't have... Using the pistol, you can still shoot. A little bit. So if they come through there. That guy made a bad choice. Okay, right. Hello everyone. My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also find Gimpy on YouTube where he posts previous episodes and highlights of the stream. Just scroll down under the video screen and click the YouTube button in the about section. Then click the subscribe button to follow. Also, please click the like buttons on his videos. You will make him feel better about himself. That's it. Thanks. Rudolph, thank you very much for the gift sub. Two dick gift subs. Is that two? It's multiple gift subs, so... Is it? Gifting... It's so confusing sometimes. It looks like it's just one. I think it's just one. But anyway, whether it's one or two, it doesn't matter. Thank you very much. Very generous, of course. And happy Saturday or Sunday. It is one. Okay. So it just for some reason came through twice. Why did it come through twice like that? Yeah, it's just weird because it's showing up twice. The bot messed up. But anyway, thank you. Okay, so. I would like to have uh, Mr. Polo, whatever her name is, go through this doorway and, and collect stuff up here, but we don't know what's actually in there. And there's this little glass door here. And if there's people in there, they'll be able to see her. And there's smoke there too, which means problems. But it could go through here. You got that guy over there. Hmm. Patient. Okay, hurricane. Hurricane's ready to go with explosives and stuff. Um, I 
into return. That's a good angle there, I guess. Good shooting. Not good shooting. Heads up, the first cleaner reinforcements have arrived and there's more coming. Grab whatever you can and get back to the chopper. But... I got a person in there. How do we see him? Who is seeing him? I don't see how we're seeing how we have eyes on him at all. It's a Fanny with the big cannon or machine gun. So cycling through our options, so do this one. Or not. We're getting good at shooting the window. He is. Mm. Tiger, 29 points left to move through here. Totally not dangerous. Smoke grenade? Oh, look, an explosive. Oh, look, he's dead. And taco. He go kaboom? He did. Might be able to shoot that guy. 40% chance to hit. So no chance to hit. And it's that. Let's take this one. Don't stop running. I didn't tell you to stop running. Have explosives. So we want the uh, frag grenades. Inflict moderate damage on the target with the blast area. However, they are much more effective than demolition grenades or destroying terrain. That's okay. Oh, and it's 32 points to throw. I thought it was 25. to use. Mm. 
hurricane right now. Should we run? I guess we can grab this, hopefully. We can't move anymore. That guy's dead over there. Shoot anymore. You good? Ring. Ring's not in a really great position, I guess. Hurricane. Hmm. Explosions. There's no explosions. Well, they're definitely focused on uh, Skyward up there. Or Taco, sorry, it's Taco. There should be? Well, I'm trying to, but I don't want to blow up my own people. You can make it. Next. Okay. So we collected this stuff. Hmm. Could open the door, maybe. What's a fireball among friends? Death, usually. Trust me, I know. So, how, how adventurous is Tiger feeling? Ah, there's a lot of windows there. <laughs> Not feeling that adventurous. Chance of that explosion back firing on us. Really, really good. And somehow the smoke is following this guy or following her around. No idea how that's going on. Let me go through here. So when have you ever seen me fail to be to go piling like a lunatic? Well, Game give bonuses for elevation to the roof guy. I don't know. I forgot to look. She got a grenade. 89% chance. Miss. And dead. Character doesn't have an AC 20 in this game. No. Sadly, wasn't an option. So, unfortunately, Joe's blocking the pathway through this door, so can't do anything about that. Just 
Shoot this door. Although we don't need to really do that anymore because there's nobody over there right now. There might be you know, this turn, but not right at the moment. Are there people in here? I don't remember. has got a little bit of watch here, right? You can see through the window. This guy this guy can't see him from there. You have to come around the corner there or this way. And if he does, hopefully, Aeolus can shoot through there and kill him before he gets there. Fingers crossed. Oh, we have a shotgun person. She's right there too. That'd be a mistake. Get shot in the back, so stay there. He backed off, didn't he? Oh, come on. So we're standing here because we were trying to go for this desk here, but I don't know if we want to now. Good shooting. Of course, now you can't if you stand up. On the, oh shit, didn't even see him. Thank you. Oh, Taco's the one who got hit. Oh, Taco's gonna die. So, Hurricane, I think you can make this shot. Wrong gun. Hurricane's not a very good shot. <laughs> Just to point that out, Hurricane is not a very good shot. We need 24 points in order to shoot this thing. And that's 23 to move there. We have 23 left if we move there. It's 26, 26. Oh look, you don't have any cover now. And no. Mm-hmm. 
Neela should probably go up here to help uh, Taco. Hey, Skybrick, welcome back. Take that air conditioner. Fire three or first fire ten. No burst fire. Oh, that was the pistol anyway. I keep forgetting that. <laughs> Getting to put it back on that. Has this place been taken to the cleaners? Yes, that's these guys over here. start getting out of here maybe. I don't know, we still have to get this. Wrong way. Totally safe. Totally not paying attention like an idiot. Tiger. So we grab that. There's another one back here if we really want to get it, but I don't think we do. It's pretty far away. items. Awesome. Remember I was an M60 and takes out a bad guy with a clock. <laughs> I have the 10 I need, do I? Oh, I do. Okay, I didn't realize. I thought it was at 9 still. So let's get the hell out of here then. Well then, surprise. Hello everyone. My name is Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. It's not if you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also find Gimpy on YouTube where he posts previous episodes and highlights of the stream. Just scroll down under the video screen and click the YouTube button in the about section. Then click the subscribe button to follow. That's it. Thanks. Yep, thank you. Is Taco going to make it? If he doesn't get shot... If Taco doesn't get shot, he might make it. And then he got shot. So no, Taco is not going to make it. So Taco, oh shit, what happened? Mm, um, okay. Not good enough.
Yeah, unfortunately, Aeolus was... Oh, shit. So, Taco is out, right? That's Taco. Yeah, Taco's out. Taco is dead. So, run away. Otherwise, who are those Agent Smith looking guys? These guys are just um, the bad guys. We don't know exactly who they are. We just know they're working for the bad guys. Because these are the cleaners. They're not aliens. These are people or something. We don't know who they are exactly either. We just know, they just call them the cleaners. I shouldn't block the doorway. Everybody looks dead there. Saw another person, or another one there. Uh, where are they? Can't move my camera. So, they apparently didn't chase us, which is good. So, that guy's over there. You can keep running, though. They shouldn't stop you. Getting their uh, their sprints in. Joe looks like the first one back to the ship or the helicopter. Almost made it to the ramp. So Aeolus looks like maybe the first one back. Hey, you want to the side? Well then. Turn all surviving soldiers. So Nine enter the the arena, only eight are gonna make it up this that it looks like. <laughs> right now it looks like eight are gonna make it out. Unless somebody shoots us in the back somehow. We did lose a uh, taco, unfortunately. So again, that mission was run in, collect data, run out. Oh yeah, by the way, they're sending in reinforcements <laughs> on turn six.
and they don't miss a whole lot when they shoot at you. Yes, Fanny survived. Did you see Fanny's kill? He turned some guy into hamburger. <laughs> yeah, F in chat for taco, please. Poor taco. Graph. Well, he should have learned how to dodge out in the open. If you're going to stand out in the open, you really should learn how to dodge better. Okay, so who got injured? Oh, sorry, injured or only what's the difference between win injured and wounded? Looks like a day. So, looks like we got some maybe promotions. I don't know. Taco did not make it. So we got some more Crimson Hearts. How come these guys get Crimson Hearts and they didn't? No local survive. The guy was had no chance of survival. We killed 10 out of 13. Okay, hey Commander, good work recovering all this data. I'm still sifting, th shift, sifting through it, uh, but it looks like you've provided me enough uh, loose threads to begin unraveling the entire cleaner control network. The bad news is that it's a lot harder than I expected. They're using almost a dozen obscure but cl highly classified government intelligence agencies to disguise their operations and, their, uh, and hide their chain of command. Realistically, we need to assume those agencies have been subverted and are fully under alien control. How extraterrestrial influence reaches this deep, I'm not sure, but I certainly don't like the implications. Although digging into classified entities isn't exactly easy, I've seen enough to suggest we're dealing with potentially thousands of cleaners. They seem to mostly work in small field teams that receive orders and supplies directly from their regional command cell, operating independently of other teams in the area. This structure ensures a captured agent cannot compromise a wider organization, but has its own vulnerabilities. Eliminating a command cell would effectively knock out cleaner operations in the entire region. Their field, their field teams would be left without orders, starved of supplies, Saturday and unable and Sunday, to think up. July fifteenth and think sixteen are the monthly giveaways for July. Go, Veronica. A twenty-five dollar Steam gift card will be given away each day. You have to be a follower of the channel and present to win. Check with Gimpy if you have any questions about the giveaway. Thanks for watching. Yep, thanks for watching again. It's next weekend for the giveaways. We don't know the exact location of these regional command cells yet, but once I make enough progress cracking the structure of the cleaner network, it should become obvious. I'll mark them on the geoscape, geoscope as soon as I have a fix. Ultimately, though, our goal is to find their headquarters. This would give us the opportunity to uh, decapitate their entire organization with a single strike. Probably the only way to put an end to the cleaner threat for good. Your progress towards identifying a cleaner network is shown at the bottom of the screen. And capture additional cleaner data on certain tactical missions. Uh, sorry, capturing, but we'll accelerate the process. So that number right there in the middle. Network progress, 20%. So get back there. So, you know what this means. We have to hire somebody else now to replace uh, Taco. Dun -dun, recruit. So, accuracy? Doesn't really tell us here what the stats actually do, do they?
So accuracy, okay. So accuracy represents how accurate soldier is when firing a weapon in combat. Soldiers with high accuracy are capable of hitting enemies far more reliably than soldiers soldiers with low accuracy. Of course. So what's Oh, this is reflexes. I thought it was uh, something else. Both snipers have died? Skybird died? I don't think Skybird's dead. No, Skybird's just injured. Skybird's not di dead. So, accuracy. Strength, reflexes, bravery, turn unit, ugh. The turn units here, or time units at 66. This person's better for sniping, I think. Can move faster. Accuracy is not that far off. A little bit stronger, well, quite a bit stronger, actually. And bravery, too. So we'll hire you. Our casualty list. How nice of them. <laughs> oh, Taco is missing in action because technically we didn't know if Taco was... We didn't bring the body back. Taco was laying on the, on the, the ceiling there, the roof somewhere. Golden Star. Soldiers were granted the Golden Star for eliminating a community total of five hostile units across their career in the rear order. Metal grand soldier plus one. Ah, uh, poor Taco. Crimson Heart for that's for being wounded. And then Ring was killed too. Crimson Heart. Injured by a toilet, so it's just a flesh wound. No, you were injured by more than just a toilet. Okay, so. What do we have for accuracy anyway? Oh, Yan Yannis is actually a really good spot here. We'll give him heavy. Skyroot's there. This is the... No, this is the Toronto coming back. Okay. We'll figure stuff out once we get back. Oh, we are back. Engineers are after I've completed uh, work on the sentry gun. Engineering projects, so... Vehicles. We have one of these. Armor, not such a big deal. Uh, vehicles. These are all our injured. Oh no, there's a, yeah, there's the empty spots because they've been injured. So how do we put our vehicle in here? The armory. Modules, that stuff. Sentry got Mars One, so well, we don't want to sell it. Soldiers, no. Engineering screen, no. So how do we put our little tanky thing in here? It's not because it doesn't show up in the armory. And the base stores, this is it right here. How do we transfer it? We don't want to sell it, that's for sure. Soldier screen, it's not a. Oh, it is a soldier. Never mind. Put that on the Skyhawk. Skybird, are you, you're not wounded anymore. Go back into action. Mozart. Oh, no, sorry. Skybird is injured. Skybird is on a sign. Sorry. She's at 55%. She shouldn't be uh, on the Skyhawk either. So, you, you need to go on the Skyhawk. 
Mars is there. And Casey is a new person, right? That's eight. Guess we have to wait and see uh, who's going to make it uh, healthy for the next mission. Because we don't have enough room to hire any more anybody else. So, actually, no. Wait, we have one person coming in. Suzu uh, Suzuki is uh, on the way, so he'll be number nine. Ta -da. Okay. Your character is uh, undering a religious, undergoing a religious experience on the grounds that he is holy. He's not that holy. He's only. It's, he's the most healthy of the people in the med bay. So he's fine. Okay, so how's our base doing? So three days before we get some more buildings. Just don't get hit like Fanny. Being shot. Just don't get shot. You'll be fine. Wooden combat armor. So new stuff. Medium armor minus three to accuracy. Armor twenty. Hardness five. Weight twelve. Wooden armor represents one of the most straightforward ways we can use our recovered alien alloys, modifying our existing defender armor to increase protection and reduce weight. The updated design employs an interlocking arrangement of hard metal plates across the torso and shoulders. Although coated in only a small quantity of alloys, they can now easily withstand a close range shot from any modern assault rifle. Beneath this lies a layer of Kevlar, protecting the wearer from fragmentation should any penetration occur. Such protection would be impossible without extraterrestrial materials, blah blah stuff. This design is thus somewhat of a stopgap. It may help keep our, your soldiers alive while we develop a superior armor that can truly utilize the capabilities of alien alloys. So, that. So now we can build more stuff, like, oh. Oh, this is research. Magnetic weapons or xenobiology? Oh, increase our funding by 200,000, we get this done. Let's do that. Okay, engineering. Warden armor. Armor. One suit of warden armor for a soldier to wear on tactical missions. Costs 25,000 to make one. And it eats up our alloys, so we can make a total of seven suits. That's 100,000 right there. We're at 161, so we'll live with four for now. Won't the science dude sell us out to the Cylons? Maybe. <laughs> Welcome back to your cat. Happy su Happy Sunday. Sorry. Yes, the science dude is going to sell us out to the Cylons. I'm going to go with yes. Definitely going to go with yes. When do we get our Hello everyone. Our My name is away. Veronica and welcome to Gimpy's Twitch channel. If you are enjoying what you are watching, please click the follow button in the lower right corner of the video screen. That way you will be notified by Twitch when Gimpy goes live. You can also find Gimpy on YouTube where he posts previous episodes and highlights of the stream. Just scroll down under the video screen and click the YouTube button in the about section. Then click the subscribe button to follow. Also, please remember that YouTube wants you to like and comment on his videos. Thanks. Yep, thank you, and happy Saturday, happy Sunday. So, this guy. Is this the one I hired? I guess so. Well, you'll be fine. Oh, we have one warden, warden armor already. Timing is 64, so that's actually not too bad for that. So, we should get that first new, brand new piece of armor too. Who's getting shot? Oh, there's our Mars thing. Okay, 
can as a vehicle weapon that fires powerful high caliber projectiles capable of inflicting heavy damage upon single targets. We're currently using the missiles for blowing up stuff. So equipment. Ballistic auto fire, a smoke launcher, or a range finder. An item that can be equipped in a vehicle's secondary slot in order to increase accuracy. Put that there to make it more accurate. 120% accurate with these this rocket launcher. Call the Mars One Veronica. Oh, we can rename it. Should we call her Veronica Mars One? You can snipe people with your rockets. No, this is not you, Ring. This is the the the, the Mars rover thing. I mean, we could get this thing. The cannon too. The cannons are making the boss 70 kinetic damage as opposed to the missiles that do 36. Range is 30 tiles. 25. Capacity is 6 shots on the thing. 20 shots on the cannon. Hmm. Inflicting heavy damage upon sinks. He means shoots to the walls, right? And these are explosive rockets with a large blast radius that are very effective at destroying terrain and removing the armor of armored enemies. Hmm. So that's plus 10 to accuracy. So this accuracy is 100 and 130. So, 120, 120. It's actually 130, 130. Yeah, we'll see. We'll test it out. I'm sure it'll be fine. Why would you remove the armor on this? Oh, for time units. Ah, okay. So less armor moves faster. More armor, though. So, keep that. Okay, and it's on the... It's on the helicopter now. Reflexes suck, but no, whatever. Okay, so people. So we have Vienna's Henry. Is he the new guy? This is the new guy. It's the heavy machine gun, so that works. So who wants the armor though? Who needs the armor? Benny's got the defender armor, so you're good. Actually, new guy. He should have the strength to wear that. That's okay. Casey Patterson. That's right. Hmm. 
Oh. Carry capacity penalty. But he's strong. He's got 68 strength. How is he not doing so well? Pick one of your like. No, it's your liking, Meerkat. Silas, or Silas, sorry, Silas, welcome back. Happy Saturday, Sunday. Anything dramatically different than the first one? Define dramatically. <laughs> Define dramatically. I'm trying to remember. It's been a long time since I played the first one. I can't even remember what I, when I played it. Hey, Glavius, welcome to the stream. I can't even remember. I don't remember playing it, but I know I did. But I don't remember it. Which isn't shocking, because there's lots of games I've forgotten. So who should, which one should we make a meerkat? The new guy? The new soldier? We'll make the new guy. New cat. And we'll give him the new warden armor, see if that helps at all. Yeah, it helps with time units. When do we get new... Oh, we don't get new weapons until we start researching stuff. Okay. Anyway, so Meerkat's the newest member. Okay, so... He's too weak at 37 to wear the better armor. He's got attack with Hurricane. Now, Hurricane, that's right, is almost there. I'll try to get better stuff. Can additional first aid kits be put on the tactical vest? Um, equipment. The answer is yes. C4 charge. It is an explosive device that can be placed on any adjacent tile by the soldier carrying it. Once placed, it can be frequently detonated at any point for the cost of 10 time units. It is very effective against terrain, so it will easily remove walls or cover objects. It is less effective against units. Because the CR charge is manually triggered, it is especially useful for breaching doors or walls at the start of a turn. Hello, Gimpy. It is time to take a break. Yeah. Go get some more water while you are up. The stream ends in one hour. Okay, so the... The weight is 15, unit cost is 25. I don't know if these things have charges. We haven't burned through a, a, a med kit yet, have we? Can't put med kits on him. Nothing like that. Okay, I think we're all set. Okay, having said that, I am going to save real quick and get up, stretch my legs. This is, of course, the last break of the stream. I'll be back here in a few minutes. Thank you all very much for watching. Enjoy the dog video.